Hi everyone. Okay, so one of the things I get asked on like a every friggin' day basis is what kind of eyeshadow should I do with a certain lip colour? Now that is totally dependent on where you're going, what you're wearing, but um, it's always good to have a good base. So today I'm going to show you one simple eye look that we'll go with. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five different lip colours here. I've got a nude, um, a bright, I've got Mac Impassioned. See, a bright red, um, a bright sort of pink, this is Max Girl About Town, and a deep-ish berry colour, or a very dark colour. So first I'm going to apply some lip balm, this is just an EOS one, the closest one to that. Uh, this is just my natural sort of lip colour. Uh, I have quite big pointed lips. Okay, I've done my face, I've done my foundation, concealer, and primed my eyes with MP Prime Version. Um, I'm trying not to use products that discontinued, so um, I also filled in my eyebrows. Um, this is Max Dazzle Light. It is a slightly shimmery, sort of yellowish, neutral colour, which is really good for getting rid of redness on your actual eye. This is a Max Easy Now. Literally, just gonna pick a little bit up and dust it over the lid. And then, kind of brighten the eye a little. This is a MAC 217, everyone knows about it. And this is MAC Patina, which is a fabulous colour. I mean, it's said that Adele wears it, etc. It's quite subtle as well. So we're just going to take the tiniest little bit of this on the end of the brush. And we're just going to do the outside corner and through the crease. I mean, you don't need a tutorial from me on how to do crease work. There are millions out there. Super, super easy. This is the easiest of beginners. And there you have your basic eye shape. Super ridiculously easy. Now, what I would normally do here is place a highlight, but for the sake of ease, I am actually just going to use my face powder, which is the MAC Eye Skin Finish in medium. And I'm just going to take a clean 217 brush. You don't need to take a clean one. You're going to be blended anyway. Tap off any excess because I find this one really has a lot of drop out and blend. I'm just going to apply some eyeliner super quick and some mascara and I will see you guys in a minute. All I'm doing with this, I should probably show you, is I'm quite white on the inside of my eyes because I'm anemic. I'm going to put some of this in the um, upper lash line and some mascara. I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so with that said, I've applied a little bit of eyeliner and smudged it through my lashes and applied a bit of mascara and now I'm starting to look a bit more like a person. Um, I've decided I'm just going to darken my crease a little bit more, um, just using the same brush again and patina. Okay, so we're going to take Boldly Bare Lip Pencil because if I put an actual nude on my skin it makes me look a bit like a zombie so I need to add some colour to my lips first. While also blanking out this very pinkish tone my lips naturally have. And we're just going to do the outside of the lip and then work inwards. So the nudes tend to look quite dark on me. I'm now going to apply some creme de nude from MAC. So that is the eye look with the nude colour. Now obviously you're going to apply some blush, but depending on what lip colour you're actually going with, you're going to apply a different blush. I'm just going to take this great all round blush and it's from Makeup Academy. Um, it is the Mosaic Blush in English Rose and it is £2.50, I believe. It's totally affordable and it is beautiful. It's so much like the Benefit Havana, it's not even uh, real, uh, honestly. Okay, it's a bit better. Alright, so now I'm going to take this off and then we're going to go in with the bright curly colour. Okay guys, so the next colour we're going to do is the MAC Impassioned and I'm going to be using the lip liner from Revlon. It's the Revlon Colour Stay Lip Liner in Pink Rose. Um, this is just, it's a beautiful colour on its own but it really brings to life Impassioned. So here's the lip colour on its own. I'm just going to add a bit of Mac Impassioned over the top. I'm not using a lip brush for this but if you are going to wear these as an everyday thing I do recommend investing in one, a lip brush. <laughs> And here is Impassioned. 
Okay guys, so the next color we're gonna do is the red, and this is probably gonna stay in my face when I try and take it off, but there we go. This is Max Cherry Lip Liner, and it's just the first red I pulled out. Um, the undertone of your lip pencil doesn't necessarily have to match that of your lipstick, and the lipstick I've got to go with it is MAC Red, and it's just called MAC Red. Here's the lip liner on its own, and now I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Red to put over it. There we go. Obviously when you, when you come to the darker colours, especially with the reds and the deep sort of plummy colours, you want to keep your eye quite natural, but if you don't feel comfortable not wearing eye makeup, then this is a great option. Obviously having the um, light reflective quality of dazzle light on it also brings a lot of light to your eyes and actually quite a lot of light to your face. Okay, so lip colour number, oh gosh, we're on four out of five now. And this one is um, Max Girl About Town, which is one of their more famous colours. Um, and the lip pencil I've chosen to go with it is Matte Magenta. So sorry, this is my best friend's absolute favourite lip pencil. And I thought that I would just give you all a quick demo of it. It does come out quite purpley on me, but I think that's just my skin tone. Okay, and here it is on its own. And this is Girl About Town. Okay, so this is Girl About Town over my gentle lip pencil. And again, when you start getting into darker colours, obviously you can change out your blush and your contour with these kind of looks. You can do your brows a bit heavier as you go towards the darker colours. But you do need to keep your eyes quite simple. The darker you go, you can either go really vampy with the eyes and take it quite dark, but that can look a bit harsh. You need to be sticking with the lighter colours and a little bit of contouring. Okay, so by about this time, my lips are starting to get a little bit stained and a little bit discoloured, which is why it's great to get onto the final one. This is um, Max Burgundy lip pencil, which is very dark, incredibly dark, but it's a great base for certain colours. So you just again, we're going to line the lips, and then we're going to fill inwards, and then apply a colour over it. Now this is the standard way to apply lip liner. If you're after a heavy sort of look, if you want to make your lips look bigger, you can just line the outside, but filling in all over also gives the lipstick a great base to stick to. And dark heat got the more precise you tend to have to be with your lip liner, the lighter it is, the more mistakes you can make and clean up. And it does also make the imperfections in your lips a lot obvious as well. Um, I actually have completely different shape size in my lips, which I try and correct with lip liner. Which you can learn to do, it just, just take practice, and obviously the right colour. Um, this is London Life lipstick, and it is... For some reason it looks a lot darker to me than I remember it, but who knows. Um, I'm just going to apply it over. Okay, so here it is finally, and with a colour like this I would go a bit heavier on the mascara because my eyelashes are almost invisible, <laughs> and uh, as are my eyebrows. So this is the final lip colour, and I have already smudged it. Um, so there you go, that is one eye look and five lip colours that it works with so thank you for watching guys i hope this has been helpful to somebody or anybody um and i will see you all in the next video if you have any requests please let me know down below and i will see you guys soon okay bye